I bow to all the seekers of truth. At the very outset, I have to say we should know what is the truth. Everybody is seeking the truth, but they have no idea as to what they should find. There is an urge within us because these times are special and we are seeking but still we don't have a clear-cut idea as to what we should seek and what we should achieve after our seeking. Now I would like to <coughs> refer to all the great books on religion about truth. They all have said that you have to know yourself. Knowing yourself is the point. And that you have to become the spirit. It's said in all these inner religions. But though we can find that these religions are not really doing that. They are not yet able to give you the truth. And that's why there's so much of conflict, so much of fights going on. They are all real religions, no doubt. And the essence of every religion is the same. Despite all that, they are fighting in the name of religion. How can that be? It can be explained very well that if we have lost our way, we can go into opposite directions. So when we know we have to know ourselves, and that is our goal of life, that is how we are going to improve on our life as such. That has been not so clearly explained, but where there is an arrangement within us or not is being told by most of them. And that arrangement, as must have been told to you, lies in the triangular bone, three and a half coils of energy, which is divine, which can connect us to the all-pervading power of truth, which is a very subtle energy. And when that happens, you get connected with that power, and that power starts flowing through you. And you can feel it on your fingertips, that power flowing. This is a fact. We have to first verify before denying it. If it could happen to you all, that you can feel this all-pervading power on your fingertips, then it's an experience. It's not just my giving you a big lecture or telling you about something fantastic, but actualization. Most important thing is the actualization, is the becoming of your being, the spirit. This has to happen. All kinds of acrobats people may tell. It's absolutely I must say, is a false pretext. No amount of acrobats are necessary. It is sahaj. Sahaj means is spontaneous. It is within you. All of you have this power. All of you are capable of becoming the spirit. 
but you must understand what you should expect, what you should become. Unless and until you have proper value system about it, nothing can be explained and you can be misled by all other nonsensical things. Of course you can't pay for it because it's a living process of your evolution. Now you are at a human awareness but it's not sufficient. You have to rise higher, higher into the realm of spirituality. It's not spiritualism but spirituality where you become the spirit, the master. It's not difficult at all, I assure you it's not difficult. America has been somehow the last, last place because I came long time back to begin with but I found people were running after all kinds of business, nonsensical people. Then I gave up. I said, I'll go to America after nine years. And then I came and gradually I started understanding that they are seekers. They are really seekers. Not that they are in any way hypocritical, but it is the way people are enticing them and taking them under their own control that they cannot see the point. And the point is you can't do anything about it. A person may come and tell you, you must get detached, give me all your property, all your money and I'll give you two pair of clothes to wear. And so many have done that. By doing this kind of nonsense, are you going to enter inside yourself? Is it possible? Just think of it. So many people have come here telling you all kinds of stories. In your humble seeking, you have been mislaid and I feel very sorry for it. Now try to understand that you have been very special people as human beings and that you have to become the super human being we can call the greatly evolved soul. We have so many, we had so many and those we had we called them by different names, they were called as Sufis and big masters but they are not intelligible, normal to people because unless and until you have the awareness which is enlightened by your spirit, you cannot understand what they are talking about. Now the time has come for all of you to get your realization. You have been seeking for ages now and it is already described in books that the day will come, the time will come. They call it as Kali Yuga, is the worst time that is now. At this time, people who are seeking God in the hills and dales will get into proper family life and they will get their self-realization through this Kundalini awakening. Now in the name of Kundalini also lots of nonsense has been said which is surprising how people accept it that a Kundalini can be dangerous and a person who gets Kundalini awakening will be very much harmed. Now she is your mother. Kundalini is your exclusive mother. She knows each and everything about you. She knows about your faults and so your aspirations, everything is recorded in her. And she is extremely careful when she gives you the second birth and she takes up all the problems upon herself. She doesn't bother you, she doesn't trouble you, 
and she's the one who looks after your second birth. Again, I say it's the actualization. Actualization of baptism, you can call it. But it's not the way they do. It's actualization, it happens, that this rises, passes through six centers and pierces through your fontanelle bone area and you do feel on your hands, fingers and out of your head the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost. This has to happen. Otherwise, whatever stories one may tell, you shouldn't believe. It has to show results. Now these centers that we have, all these seven centers are responsible for our physical, mental, emotional and spiritual being. So many people get cured, many people have problems mentally, they get cured. And spiritually you get endowed with the absolute knowledge, absolute knowledge. Not knowledge that we learn in the schools or colleges, but the knowledge which is absolute. For example, if you want to know about someone, you can ask a question and you'll be amazed if the question is yes, then you start getting the cool breeze flowing fast, but if it is no or it is wrong, then you might get little tingling or might get very hot from those persons who are to be tested. It's a very, very interesting, precise and a scientific method. Now, if there are doctors, I would like to tell that you get in control with the parasympathetic nervous system. Luckily, there's going to be a big conference with me, with the doctors in um, New York. I don't know what association it is called, I, I don't know. All right. Now, in that, they are convinced now that what I'm saying is a fact and that it helps you. You get cured by yourself and you can also cure others. There's no need to have these horrible modern diseases that you are afraid of. You can just find out about it in no time. Apart from that, that you just know how to treat others, how to cure others, how to help others. But apart from that, what you get is the spiritual blessing. And the spiritual blessing is this, that you get the peace in your heart. Surprisingly, when this Kundalini rises, she somehow or other by joining with the divine power, all-pervading power, assumes a personality which is extremely pure, extremely benevolent, extremely tolerant and extremely truthful. All your enemies that we call like anger, lust, greed, all these enemies just drop and you are no more in the entanglement of those enemies. And you become a free person, absolutely a free person. Above all, you are so beautiful. You become such a nice person that you establish your peace. Now, normal human beings, what do they do? They react. They react at anything. 
See, they were telling me that still there is time, people are still coming, doesn't matter. You can come late, there's no, don't come just now, all right? But I don't know how to react. And that's why when I came, they said, Mother, still you look very relaxed. I said, I never reacted to this. So you don't react. By not reaction, what happens? That the thoughts that come to you come from the future and the past. And you are lost in those thoughts because you are jumping on the cusp of these thoughts. When the Kundalini rises, the thoughts are like this. She elongates those thoughts and a space is created which we call it as pause or vilam. In that state, you become absolutely peaceful. You don't think anymore, we call it thoughtless awareness that Jung has described. That means you watch anything just as a witness. You see everything as a witness. See, there's a bit nice carpet here. I'm seeing it. Now, supposing it belonged to me, if I was normal, I would have said, oh my God, I don't know how are they going to keep it. In case this belongs to somebody else, I would appreciate it and I'll say, oh, I must buy this, how much it will cost, I hope it's insured and all kinds of things. But if I am a realized person, then I just watch it without thinking. And the joy that the artist has put into this carpet enables you to enjoy, enjoy it without reaction. And this state we call at Sajavasta, where a person becomes absolutely one with himself, complete. And when he looks at anything, he doesn't react, he sees, he becomes the witness. You become just the witness of the whole thing. Your memory improves, your ideas about creation, anything. I mean, you become an extremely, extremely, I should say, creative person. And you don't develop the pride, you don't develop falsehood, but you just enjoy creating something. Human being is the most useful thing and the most beautiful thing the Divine has created. But we don't know what we are. That's why always it is said, know thyself. Know yourself. Unless and until you know yourself, how can you say, I hate myself or I do, I do that. Actually, the beauty lies within you and is to be expressed through these divine vibrations. Now the health improves, no doubt. So many have improved their health. But I've seen in London, in the beginning, so many boys who were taking drugs gave it up overnight. I never say don't give up. I don't say don't. If you say don't, then they will, half of them will run away. Let them be. Let them get their realization. Then automatically the whole thing drops out and you shoot out. Out of that and you become the real personality. Thus you know the reality because you're not anymore contaminated by your ego or your super ego. These thoughts come to you from your ego or super ego, meaning your conditioning. You are no part of it. You are absolutely free and you see everything in its real position. This kind of thing happening was already destined, has been already prophesied that is going to happen in those days. And so if you can come here, this side we have chairs. All right. So this is how we are going to become ourselves and we will know what we are 
and what we are capable of. Our capabilities are fathomless, but unless and until we are connected, how can we act? For example, this instrument, if it is not connected to the mains, it is useless. In the same way, you are to be connected to the mains is very important. For that, you don't have to do anything. It just works spontaneously within you and you get your Self-Realization without any doubt. Actually, I must have given thousands of lectures all over the world and there's no end to it. Now, I would like you people to ask me some questions which I would like to answer, if you have any. Are there any questions you could raise a hand if what is the purpose of having huh? what is the purpose of having the photograph? The thing is, if you can do without the photograph, nothing like it. But you need something to support. And that's why people use the photograph. If you don't need it, it's all right, but you'll find you will need it. All right. How do you awaken the Kundalini? That's my job, I will do it, all right? <laughs> it's very simple. How does a Mother Earth uh, sprouts the seed? How does she do? Is innately built in in her that power, isn't it? What else? Jagat? Sir, what is the relationship between Paramatma and Kundalini apparatus? All right, very good question. Paramatma is the God Almighty, all right? And his power is the Adi Shakti, is the power that has done all the creation, everything. While Paramatma is the one who is just a spectator of the whole thing, Drashta as they call it. While Adi Shakti is the one who does all the creation and everything. Now, Paramatma is in your heart reflected as spirit and Kundalini is reflected on your, in your triangular bone as Adi Shakti. Adi Shakti's reflection is the Kundalini. Oh, you will get absolute knowledge, everything. What should come first? What? The Kundalini awakening or dissolving the jealousy and other characters? No, no. Kundalini awakening is the one by which all these things happen automatically. Is it not first necessary to work on the negative tendencies and then get Kundalini awakening? There's no need. In Sahaja Yoga, there's no need to work it out. The negative forces themselves run away, 99%. In one person, maybe it still sticks, but otherwise, 99%, they all run away with the light of the Kundalini, with the enlightenment of the Spirit on your attention. Yeah, of course, no doubt. 
you only on the contrary you become a multi-dimensional personality you, you try you can't do it if you are doing something wrong you can't do it after kundalini awakening because you see what is destructive for you and what is constructive for you so you don't do it you just don't do it i told you just now that overnight people gave up drugs i didn't tell them is the light if you are sitting in the darkness you don't know where are you but if there's light you know everything is like that is enlightenment i'm talking just to desire that you should get your self realization you must have a strong desire yes madam by practicing this can i control my heart rate everything everything it is controlled you don't have to do Ah, correct. And does that mean that by practicing this, it will be the same? Now, I was also born in a Christian religion, and I know that how, how Christianity was just the opposite of Christ. But just a minute. But after realization, you are enlightened, and you see the beauty of every religion and the essence of every religion. and then you also understand that you are capable yourself of following a spiritual path without any difficulties nothing destructive nothing wrong nothing manipulated it's your own you become your own master those who have met and those <laughs> i have nothing to say I don't want to do that. <laughs> What's the use? Is done through some spirits I think. Yes, madam. so many forces pull you away from that yes that's correct but just now just now i promise you that you will get your realization and then you will see all these forces will drop out all right ladkiya sabse zyada sawal puch rahi hain
Yes, this means left side is God. Whosoever is this written this letter, that means left side is not all right, but it can be put right. Yes. It's called as Kali Yuga. And also, this is the time of last judgment. And at this time, one has to be very careful because you are going to be judged whether you take to truth or not. If you are still with falsehood, you are judged. You will judge yourself, nobody needs to judge you. By so many things will happen that you will realize there's something wrong. So what was the advice that Mahatma Gandhi gave to you as a young woman? <laughs> he didn't give me any advice. I had to give him advice. But he did say that let our country be free, then you can start your Sahaja Yoga program, not before that. That was his idea that we are not yet free to propagate anything. Very good question. You don't have to, there's no number of times you have to do it on the once it is enlightened, it is enlightened. But we have problems still there, so the Kundalini goes back to correct it sometimes. So we have here a proper uh, follow-up, they call it, and after that we have centers where you can go. Also nobody will charge any money and they'll find out what's wrong with you and they'll try to tell you what is to be done. It happens with very few, but you'll enjoy going to the center because it's all enjoyment there, free of charge. It, does that mean that we should not do this very often at home ourselves? Alone? They will tell you. You have to meditate, that they will tell you how to meditate and if you follow it for 10-15 minutes at the most and it works out and you can grow. Because after all, it's first germination of the seed, you see there, but it has to grow. And some people grow so fast, I'm surprised sometimes that at the very first meeting only they become great people. No, it does not. It does not. But if you try not to pay attention to its proper alignment or proper uh, development, then it may s become static at that point, but it never goes back. For many years I have been trying to meet you and I am very blessed to see you here today. I see.
You can, you can do it. If you desire so, you can really help them. You can really help. I mean, that's what is happening now. As you see, these people say that Sahaja Yoga is working in 86 countries. What happened? That one person got his realization, he went to his country and he changed so many people. In a far-fetched country like Benin, imagine Benin, where they have mostly Muslims. There are 7,000 Sajogis. In Turkey we have 3,000 and in so many places we have. But the maximum in Benin where there are mostly people who, are, who were Muslims. And I was surprised, I asked them, why did you become Muslims? So they said, because the French were here and we didn't like the way they were immoral, so we thought their religion is no good, so became Muslims. But now they're great Sajogis, very, very great Sajogis. So many Muslim countries have become Sajogis. All over the world, we have in Russia, we have thousands and thousands and thousands. And Russians are very deep people. I tell you, the so-called freedom we had, we have gone helter-skelter. While the Russians had no freedom, they could not even talk about God. They did not read anything about divine. And they developed, I think, out of that tyranny of communism, developed within themselves a very, very deep understanding. And they are there. You'll be amazed that Sahaja Yoga is now practiced in so many countries where I never even thought I would reach. But Sahaja Yogis have gone and done the job. What's our question? Now, can I ask you one question? What was your first uh, understanding that you were a human being? <laughs> it's like that only. As you were aware of you being a human being, I was aware. I have no religion. I have all the religions. Born in any family should not uh, sort of stop your vision. You can see through everything if you have the light. This another one. Now I was I must say, here there are so many people who are asking questions. Normally they I don't find that experience. Doesn't matter. But how many will become good surgeons is to be seen out of you. It's all right to ask questions after questions, but that is of no value. Unless and until you really become what I'm saying a surgeon, a real personality that is absolutely spiritual. So we have to see that. That is the challenge for all of you. Let's see how many. I must say Los Angeles has been really a lost Angeles so far for me. But Sir Jogis always felt that I can do very well. <laughs> so I came. Now this is the fifth question you are asking, madam. Will you please take your realization and then ask me, all right? This is another one. You see, once you have asked a question, you shouldn't ask another question, please. Because all of them are waiting for their self-realization. They are all waiting for their self-realization. 
Only few who want to ask questions, this one is all right. But not all the time go on asking questions. What is there? Unless and until you are a journalist. Abhi ek aur hai wo. As we should. Can you now write your questions and let me know? I'll answer them after you get your realization. Then you won't have any questions, I know. <laughs> Again, I said it is the becoming. You have to become, it's not just talking. <coughs> now forget your questions for the time being, better get your realization, all right? <coughs> now one thing is that you have to just take out your shoes or chappals, whatever it is. Because this Mother Earth is of a great help. She sucks in all our problems. Put both the feet apart from each other. You will know everything about Sergio. Why I said to put your feet apart from each other, everything. You will know very clearly, but they should touch the Mother Earth. You have to just be comfortable and all of you should be seated. Before I start, I have to request that those who want their realization, only I can give them. It cannot be forced because Kundalini is the pure desire, is the pure desire not impure desire as we have. Whatever desire we have, we have today one, then we want to have something else. That's the principle of economics. But this is pure desire. And for this pure desire, you should be determined to get it. It's your own character, your own understanding, only will work it out. Now, I would request you all to sit comfortably with both feet like this, very comfortable. And put both your hands towards me like that. Now, what I find that some of you feel guilty. It's a nonsense. If you feel guilty, then this center here catches on the left hand side and the Kundalini doesn't move. So, if you have done anything wrong, I agree. So, it's finished. That's the past. You don't have to worry about that. At this moment, please, you have to know that you are not guilty at all for anything. So please forgive yourself. Please forgive yourself. Now the second thing is that we have to forgive also others. Now some people say it's difficult to forgive mother. I mean, what do you do? Whether you forgive or you don't forgive, you don't do anything. What do you do? Nothing. But by not forgiving, you torture yourself. So best thing is to forgive all of them. Forgive everybody who has harmed you, who has troubled you, who has made you unhappy, has hurt. Forgive. Don't also think about them. It's also useless. By forgiving, you don't know what will happen. 
Absolutely you'll feel peaceful with yourself. Just forgive everyone. This nobleness you should accept today that you forgive everyone. Just forgive. Now, please put your hands towards me, like this, comfortably, comfortably. Now you can put your right hand towards me and feel with the left hand on top of your fontanelle bone area, little higher, if there is any cool or a hot breeze-like vibrations are coming out of your own head on your sheep palm, you can feel it. You move your hand up and down and see for yourself if you are feeling. Please remove your caps if you have, please. It's better to remove. Now please see, you must have respect for yourself, you should not denounce yourself and you should also forgive everyone, that's very important. Now, put the left hand towards me and put the right hand on top of your fontanel bone area and bend your head, just bend your head and see for yourself if there's a cool or a hot breeze coming out of your own fontanelle bone area. This is the actualization of the baptism, you may call it. Once more, put your right hand towards me and see with your left hand If there is a cool or a hot breeze coming out of your fontanelle bone area, please keep your head bending. Now, if it is hot means you have not forgiven yourself, or you have not forgiven others. So again, please forgive, please forgive yourself and forgive others. That's a very great asset and help. Now see for yourself, if there's a cool or a hot breeze, coming on your fingertips or on your palms. Please forgive, forgive, forgive yourself and forgive others, very important. Because this center here, when the crossing of the optic chasma, it get obstructed if you have not forgiven. So please forgive, because it's a myth, myth not to forgive. So please forgive. Hmm. I would say all those who have felt the cool breeze in their hands or hot breeze on their fingertips or on their palm or out of their fontanelle bone area. Hot or cold breeze, please raise your hands. Wow. Mostly all of you have got it. Mostly. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. In such a short time, you have got it. That means really we have got very wonderful people this time from Los Angeles. Those who are truly seekers or real seekers, 
may God bless you for that. Now, you must respect your realization and I hope you will grow into it. You will try to grow and become masters. Hardly you will take even one month, maybe, to become the masters. Why not do it? All right? May God bless you.